So unfortunately, the 70% of an FTP for your zone two base training might sound and look like at a first glance like an individual training um, zone or training intensity because it's a percentage of your very FTP. But the problem is only your FTP is individual. Extrapolating, which I mean with that is going a fixed percentage down or up for some interval training programs is not individually. It's not individualized training. If you want to have it individualized, you need to look at, for this training example, the metric you are interested in, which is in this case, because it's not an anaerobic training, it's not a high intense interval training, we will cover that in another story. In this case, what you're interested in is, is especially burning more fats to spare carbohydrates, to have these carbohydrates available for your higher intense training, for your higher intense efforts, you want to burn more fat also because higher fat burning rate means higher oxygen uptake, which is basically a higher aerobic training stimulus and therefore it's helpful for better adaptation of your VO2 max, for example, which obviously is or arguable maybe the single most important metric for endurance performance, health span and lifespan. So therefore zone two training done right, don't use a fixed percentage of the FTP, dial in your fat combustion rates and carbohydrate combustion rates so that you really hit that intensity which promotes the best aerobic adaptation and allows you to understand what you should be fueling during the training and after the training to be ready for the next training session, either it's the next day or the day after.